Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? Well, it's starting to become nice out, so I figured I'd come outside and uh, and check it out here. So it's pretty it's pretty decent. Nice day. You know, we all uh, I believe we tend to kind of put our representatives out when we talk to each other, and we want to appear competent and confident. And you know, we make a bunch of you know some of us make a bunch of YouTube videos. We make blogs, whatever. And we we talk about tips and tricks and how to do this and how to solve this problem in role playing games, that problem in role playing games. But I thought it might be interesting to talk about some of the things where you know I'm not so good, where I have shortcomings, where I, you know, have room for improvement, or just I you know, have stumbling blocks in one way or another. And so today I'll talk about one that I, I think I've alluded to a little bit before, is I'm not phenomenal at cloak and dagger, at political intrigue, at um, all that kind of uh, subtle uh, human interaction and duplicity, and and all that sorts of stuff. And I got reminded of that recently because some of the games I've been reading, uh, I've been reading Eclipse Phase, I got a PDF of that, and it's a, it's a great setting, fluff-wise, but it's full of all kinds of organizations and factions and political uh, organizations and units and, and what have you. And it's very uh, multifaceted and complex, but there's all kinds of room for um, just underhanded and duplicitous stuff to go on and whether it's multi-layered and you're not really sure where people are going. You know, who, who do you trust? Who do you not trust? What are their real motivations of these organizations of maybe your employers, other people? And you know, I found a similar thing, um, a similar vibe in uh, Broken Rooms. And there's other games that are like that too. And so there's times when I find games like that a little bit intimidating. And I don't mean so much that I need to learn all of these factions and, and know the entire setting, because that, that's not quite it. It's more that in general, I'm, I don't, uh, I don't uh, have an, as intuitive of an understanding of that stuff as some other people do. I'm the guy when you're reading a book or watching a movie, and some people, you know, say, "Well, I saw that coming." When there's kind of like a, a, a reversal or some kind of uh, reveal, you know, not so much in terms of the premise, but more like you know, some, somebody had something up their sleeve or were, you know, being duplicitous or you know, what have you, or there were, were hidden agendas. I'm the guy that didn't see it coming. <laughs> just, just that sort of uh, uh, part of a human interaction kind of um, baffles me occasionally. It's, it's, it's I don't have a uh, an intuitive grasp of it. I get it once people explain it, or you know, once once it happens, I'm like, oh, okay, I guess that, guess that makes sense. But I don't necessarily think of that first. You know, I recall like all kinds of novels I, I used to read by like Isaac Asimov, and he he loved to put that sort of stuff in there. Um, and same thing with. Um, you know, Robert Heinlein, you know, the, the greats of the old sci-fi literature would have all kinds of things, you know, happen like that, where you'd have a, a leader or uh, other uh, mover and shaker in an organization. They would explain what was going on, or they, they had this intuitive grasp of what other people wanted, how to make them do what they wanted them to do, you know, be six steps ahead of somebody else. And I would understand it as I was reading it, but it's not something I would think of. And there's the other part where I don't have a heck of a lot of a poker face, which is can be can be tr problematic as a game master. Uh, you know, as every once in a while somebody's near a, a uh, um, un un next to something when players en un encounter something where I know it could go horribly wrong, or I, I you know they're trying to figure out what's going on. And I already know, <laughs> and so I have tough times. You know, my poker face is not the best, but I you know that's a different subject. But you know, for me, that whole uh, political machination, you know, the the whole cloak and dagger, the whole uh, many layers of, of intent, that kind of thing, I'm not as good at uh, intuitively. And so that's something I have to work on and I, I tend to shy away from or worry about running a game like that. Playing a game like that, I have no problem. Some, somebody will explain to me what's going on if I if I don't get it, even if I'm the last guy in the room to figure it out. But as a game master, of course, you need to be a little bit more uh, um, involved with that. You need to know what's going on. You, you know, you're, you're the guy oftentimes that has that duplicitous uh, scheme running in the background and so that's one of those things that I guess I'd, I'd call uh, a shortcoming or something where I don't feel as confident you know running a game in terms of uh, that element so uh, maybe I'll make some more videos about some other things that I, I have more trouble with what about you how do you uh, how do you handle stuff like that do you have a problem with this at all or are you just an old you know does it just come naturally to you tell me about it